Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach coming back to you. We've been talking about, we've, we've had, we're going to have six small videos. And in each video, we're going to talk about something frustrating, you know, something that just frustrates me about time. And here's number five, okay? For me, I have uh, some big goals, you know, like I have goals that are going to take 10 years, 20 years. I know. I know they're going to take that long. And I think I have friends, Seiji and Noor, you know, they just had a baby. And you got long-term goals, you know, like you're going to have to put some money aside, you know. It's not enough that you manage your time uh, day to day. Uh, there are big things you want to do in your life, you know. There's, and by the way, you can't pause your normal day-to-day -day life and say, you know what, today I'm going to spend the whole day working on, on the big long-term goals, you know, long-term time management, 10-year, 15-year, 20-year. I got stuff to do today, you know, the plumber's coming and, you know, I got to finish this filming for today. You got things all day long, small demands on your time, moment to moment, my tree needs to be fed. The baby needs attention. And you can't tell the baby, you know what? Uh, today, mom and dad are going to work on this long-term project. So you just don't cry and don't, uh, you know, poo-poo in your diaper. And, you know, don't drink milk until tomorrow. And then we're going to work on this long-term goal. So it doesn't work that way. But then what happens, and it's very frustrating to me, uh, you don't get the big things done, you know. Five years later, you wake up from these daily, day-to-day -day needs, and you realize you, you didn't do the big things you wanted to do, the long-term projects. And here in the picture, you can see somebody's, uh, you know, they just bought a house. So it takes five, ten years of planning. You have to save money. Uh, you have to think about uh, what kind of house you want, where you want to have it. And every week, you have to spend a little time about this long-term project. So now we're talking about macro time management, time management over five years, 10 years. How do you get time during your day-to-day -day little things that you have to do and still keep your eyes on the big goal that you have, this 5, 10, 15 year goal. Or maybe it's for even for your retirement or something, or for your parents' retirement. Like how, you have to do something, some things, big goals, they need attention almost every day. So what's the solution for this, you know? I, and I have this, um, hourglass here. I found a nice picture of an hourglass. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I think about long-term goals, like big things I would like to happen, and they're not going to happen in a week. They're not going to happen in a month. These are 5, 10, 15 years. Some of them are 50-year things. And, and it feels... I get frustrated. I feel like the time is just melting away. Like, I almost feel like you can feel the time just melting away, like sand, just running through your fingers. And then you get to the end of the day, and you say, okay, I, I did a lot of small things. In, in American English, we say, uh, I spent the whole day putting out small fires, you know. I, I got all these small emergencies during the day, and I had to deal with them. It's not something I could wait. The, the plumbing broke, you know. The, the water broke. Uh, yesterday, I had trouble with uh, one of the lights in my house. Like, the, the light broke. And then it's not like you can wait. It broke in the bathroom, and it was dark in there. And that's dangerous. So, uh, you know, I had to stop everything. I had to stop preparing for these talks. And I had to spend, I don't know, half an hour fixing the light. And things happen. And then the long-term stuff gets slowed down. 
And it feels like time is slipping away from you. I, I have another kind of long-term time frustration. Let's call it long-term time frustration. And I have this very strong feeling in my heart that when all of us are young, you know, I don't know, we are maybe 10 years old or something, many of us, we feel like at that time in our life, we feel like uh, there's something I'm supposed to do in this world. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to do something while I'm here. You know, I came into this world. I was born into this world. And I'm traveling through this world. And one day I will leave this world. And there just seems to be some big job, some big purpose that I'm supposed to fulfill in this world. So I put that in the same category as buying a house or collecting the money for your child's college education or getting money ready for your parents for when they retire, they can't work anymore. I, in there, I include this big project, the biggest project in our life, in a human life. And I don't know, when you get to be 30, 40 years old, you're too busy to think about it. You don't have time to think about why did I come to this world or what am I supposed to do in this world. But somehow, when you're 9 or 10 years old, I think, I don't know what it is. Maybe your, your mind is just developed to some point you become a social animal. You, you begin to live in society. And then I think many people get this feeling I was supposed to do something in this world, you know? I was supposed to do something to help this whole world. And there's a reason why I came to this world. So this is the, the big long-term project that we all have, right? We have something we feel like we were supposed to do in this life. And we feel like time is wasting, right? Time is uh, going, excuse me. Time is racing away from me, and I, I just can't have time to think about the, the big projects I'm supposed to be working on, the long-term projects that I'm supposed to be working on. So how do we fix this problem? And this is a very famous uh, DCI solution that we'll be talking more about when we do the free invitation event. So that will be a longer a uh, free event that we'll be doing. And we'll get into the details of all these frustrations of time and how to fix all these frustrations. But I'd like to go back to this short video of this lady. Uh, she's not just managing her time well. It's not just that she's learned how to be happy with all the things she had to do and relaxed and smiling, even though she's very busy, even though she's checking time. That's not the only thing that's going on in this video. In this video, something else is happening, and that's that she is being a leader. She's being a time management leader by being well-organized, by using her time well. And by being happy and relaxed and smiling, even when she's really, really busy, you see, just by being herself, she is helping the people around her, okay? Whether they know it or not, she's leading them. She's being a leader. Why? Because she succeeded at time management, okay? When you really succeed, at your time management, then it affects the whole world. In a way, you reach that goal of your life that you used to think about when you were young. You see, when you become a successful and joyful uh, time manager, okay, in your own life, then automatically 
you are fulfilling this long-term project that you had in your mind when you were young, that I'm supposed to do something to help this whole world, and that's what it is, okay? All right, uh, next time we're going to go to video six, and we're going to talk about a very interesting subject, which is that do we have to be locked into the present moment, you know? Can we somehow take advantage of the whole range of time, past, present, and future? Can we somehow uh, use the future and use the past and not be locked into this present moment? Okay, we'll see you in the next video.